Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and I am from Lahore, Pakistan. Well guys, once again, welcome to my academic IELTS reading video. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to deal with especially in section 3, which is supposed to be the toughest one. I'm going to tell you how to read the statement, how to scan the passage and see where the answers are and then how to match the information, the information given in the passage with the options and decide which option is the right one. So I'm going to give you some good techniques to deal with this type of questions. If you like my videos, I just make a request that please share my videos with your friends, family and in your community you must share my videos so that this good thing should pass on to others through you as well. So guys, let's take a start. Now we go to the handout and there with magic hands I'm going to solve this question type for you with my tips and techniques. Let's start. Okay guys, now we are going to do a series of questions and these are basically uh, short answers, uh, sorry, these are basically multiple choice questions. So, let's start. Compared with today's museums, comparison of today's museums, those of the past, now we need to find a quality or characteristic of a past museum when they are comparing it. So we need to find and by the way all the questions and passage they are in the same order. So we need to find a comparison of today's museum with the past museum and then we have to found we have to find a quality of past museum that is going to be uh, our answer. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, the conviction of the historical relics and today's museum and past museum, although it's not evident that artifacts. Okay, museum used to. Okay, okay. Museums used to look means past. Wow, good shot, huh? Anyways, let's read from here. Museums used to look, and some still do. Some still do means present. Something. Now that's what the question is that uh, compared with today's museum, those of the past, what is it? Museums used to look and some still do, much like storage rooms of objects packed together in showcases, good for scholars who wanted to study the subtle differences in design, but not for ordinary visitor to whom it all looked alike. All right, now we keep this information in mind and we go back to the options and see which is the right one. Did not present history in a detailed way. No, they don't say anything about it. B, were not primarily intended for the public. Ta -da -ta -da. Let me tell you why. Ta -da -ta -da. They say here, but not for the ordinary visitor. Ordinary visitor means public to whom it all looked alike, but not for the ordinary visitor. So compared with today's museums, those of the past were not primarily intended for the public and but not for the ordinary visitor. So B will be the right answer. Let's go on with C. Were more clearly organized? No. Preserved items with greater care. No. Okay. All right. Now let's go on. Question number 32. According to the writer, current trends in the heritage industry. Now current trends in the heritage industry. This is our topic. First we are going to read about it. Then we'll come back and read the options. Current trends in the heritage industry. So, current trends in heritage industry. Recently, however, attitude word history, yeah, and the way it should be preserved have altered the keyword in heritage display. Now they're talking about heritage. The keyword in heritage display is now experience. The more exciting, the better, and if possible, involving all the senses. Good example of this approach. In the UK are the Jovic Center in New York, the National Museum of Photography, Film and Television in Bradford, 
and the Imperial War Museum in London. In the US, the trend emerged much earlier and Williamsburg has been a prototype of many heritage developments. In other parts of the world, no one can predict where the process will end. Now, this is the information and in the light of this information, we got to decide which is the right option. They say the keyword is heritage display is now experience. So keyword is experience. The more exciting, the better. And if possible, involving all the senses. Good example of this approach in the UK are Jovic Center in York, the National Museum of Photography, Film and Television in Bradford, and the Imperial War Museum in London. In the US, the trend emerged much earlier, Williamsburg and blah, 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 and all that. Let's see now. Current trends in the heritage industry. Now, we see which option is right one. Emphasize personal involvement. Now, let's see. Do they emphasize personal involvement? Do they say anything about that? All right. The key word in heritage display is now experience. And experience is the other name of personal involvement. The more exciting, the better. Personal involvement and experience. Okay, let's see why the other options are wrong. Have their origins in York and London. Blah, blah, blah. No. Rely on computer images. Funny, huh? Reflect minority tastes. Funny. So these three options are wrong. That's why A is the right answer or A is the right answer. That's why other three options are wrong. Emphasize personal involvement and personal involvement is the other name of experience. That is why for question number 32, correct answer is A. Now, let's move on. 33, the writer says that museums, heritage sites and theme parks. Now, there is something common in museums heritage sites and theme parks. So we need to see what is it that the writer says and there is a common thing between these three. So we need to see the word like all three or these three and museums, heritage sites and theme parks and then we can find the answer. Okay, let's go on and we find museum, heritage sites, theme parks, museums, heritage sites, ah, here. In a related development, the sharp distinction between museum, heritage sites and on the other theme park, all three together. Okay, now, what is the question? The question is, the writer says the museum, heritage site, theme parks, there is something. Let's see. He says the sharp distinction, so it may be distinction between museums and heritage sites on the other hand and the theme parks on the other is gradually evaporating. Okay, the difference is evaporating. They already borrow ideas and concepts from one another. They are borrowing ideas and concepts, for example, and then is giving the example. So, the writer says that museums, heritage sites, and theme parks often work in close partnership. He said that borrow ideas, but borrowing ideas and concepts doesn't mean they are working in partnership. So, I don't think this is the right answer. B, try to pre preserve separate identities. No, it's not that he said that they are trying to preserve separate identities. Basically, he's saying actually, see, the distinction is evaporating. So, it's not that. Have similar exhibits. No, they did not mention that their exhibits are similar are less easy to distinguish than before. Less easy to distinguish than before. I tell you why. The first thing is distinction is gradually evaporating. And they already borrow ideas and concepts from each other. And then, for example, museums have adopted storylines for exhibitions. Sites have accepted, accepted theming and all that. So, sharp distinction distinction evaporating, it means actually they are less easy to distinguish than before. Option D is the right answer for question number 33. Is that okay? All right, not bad. 34, the writer says that in preparing exhibits for museums, experts 
I know at one place we read about that. The writer says that in preparing exhibition for museums experts, because we have done list of headings that is why I know where this is going to be. Okay, experts. All right, all right, all right. It was somewhere in this paragraph. So let's see. Okay, where do they talk about experts? Experts, environment choices, heritage, and ah, heritage and museum experts. Now, what's the question? The question is the writer says that in preparing exhibits for museums all right in preparing exhibits experts have to do something now what is it that they have to do see heritage and museum experts do not have to invent stories and recreate historical environments heritage and museum experts do not have to invent stories and recreate historical in, uh, uh, environments to attract their visitors their assets are already in place however exhibits must be both based on artifacts and facts as we know them and attractively presented. Now, let us just consider this. Those who are professionally engaged in the art of interpreting history are thus in a difficult position, means the experts, as they must steer a narrow course between the demands of evidence and attractiveness. Evidence and attractiveness especially given the increasing need in the heritage industry for income generating activities. Huh, we got to keep all that in mind. Now, let us see what can be the answer. The writer says, in preparing exhibits for museums, experts should pursue a single objective. No, that is rather stupid. Huh? B, have to do a certain amount of language translation. Ba, 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 ba. They did not talk about it at all. Now, 50-50, huh? C, should be free from commercial constraints. All right, commercial constraints is something, right? So, actually, they did not mention that they should be free from commercial constraints, right? To attract people and all that. All right, D, have to balance conflicting priorities. Wow, balance conflicting priorities now i am going to tell you what are the uh, what is the balance between conflicting priorities here they say however exhibits exhibits must be both based on artifacts and facts so artifacts and facts balance between that attractively presented those who are professionally engaged in the history and thus in the difficult position they must steer a narrow course between the demands of evidence and attractiveness balance between evidence and attractiveness especially given the increasing need in the heritage industry for this so evidence and attractiveness and they need to do the balance what is that have to balance conflicting priorities now what are the priorities over here attractiveness and evidence right artifacts and facts so they have to balance between artifacts and facts evidence and attractiveness and all that and then this income generating so for this option d is the right answer why d is the right answer because other three answers are wrong and why d is the right answer d is the right answer that's why the other three answers are wrong okay anyways let's go on this is section three guys so you need to work harder with that Okay, so question number 35, in paragraph E, the writer suggests, means we need to see the suggestion of the writer, that some museums exhibits, now we got to see what is it that the writer suggests in paragraph E about some museums what they exhibit. So first we will go to paragraph E, this is paragraph E and we have to see but it could be claimed that in order to make everything in, herit uh, in heritage more real, historical accuracy must be increasingly altered. All right, that's what he says. For example, is depicted in an Indonesian. This is a difficult word, so I'm not reading it. In an Indonesian museum with Malay facial features, because this corresponds to public perceptions. That's why they've done that. Similarly, in the Museum of Natural History in Washington, Netherlands, uh, sorry, uh, Nindral man is shown making a dominant gesture 
to his wife. Such presentations, now read carefully, such presentations tell us more about contemporary perceptions of the word than about our ancestors. Contemporary perceptions of the word means the present word then about our ancestors and there is one compensation however for the professionals who make these interpretations if they did not provide the interpretation visitors would do it for themselves okay if they don't interpret in that way people or visitors will do it in that way now this is what we keep in mind there is no there is one compensation however and this is important from here such presentations tell us so from such presentations tell us more about contemporary perceptions of the world contemporary of the time perception of the world than about our ancestors means than about our past now in paragraph e the writer suggests that some museums exhibit now let's see fail to match visitor expectations no that's stupid huh all right b are based on the false assumptions of professionals no they talked about professionals but not the false assumptions of professionals c reveal more about present beliefs than about the past contemporary that is present our ancestors that is past let me read again see that they say here such presentations tell us more tell us more and what do they use here reveal more reveal more and tell us more about present beliefs now see that tell us more about contemporary perceptions of the world present belief and contemporary perception perception is for belief present is contemporary of the world then about our ancestors and then about the past then about our ancestors that is the past and this is how they play with you guys i have gone deep inside aisles and from there i'm giving you all this insight and all these tips d allow visitors to make more use of their imagination that's stupid huh no now let's do 36 the passage ends by noting that our view of history is biased because the passage ends means the last paragraph by noting our view of history our view of history is biased and then the reason so basically you got to find the reason due to because of or something else so our view of history is biased because and then there is a reason so they are using this word bias here and this is the last paragraph human bias is inevitable we got to find the reason but another source of bias in the representation of history has to do with the transitory nature of the materials themselves now this is the reason human bias is inevitable but another source of bias is uh, in the representation of history has to do with that is the reason is transitory nature of the material themselves the simple fact is that not everything from history survives the historical process so castles palaces and cathedrals have a longer lifespan than the dwelling of ordinary people and then they mention all that now let's see the same applies to the furnishing and other contents of the premises so in a town like uh, Leiden in Holland and then they give the example of that let's see if we find anything otherwise we'll go back the passage ends by noting that our view of history is biased because so a we fail to use our imagination this imagination is you know this is not right okay let's go on only very durable objects remain from the past very durable objects cathedrals castles remain from the past exactly read from here has to do with the transitory nature of the material themselves the simple fact is 
that not everything from history survives the historical process. Castles, palaces and cathedrals have a longer lifespan, means they survive. Then the dwelling of ordinary people, the same applies to furnishings and other contents of the premises and all that. So only very durable objects, cathedrals, castles remain from the past. This is the right option here. Now let's go on. See, we tend to ignore things that displease us. No. Museum exhibits focus too much on the local area. No. Okay, so for 36, B is the right answer and this is how you have to do this multiple choice questions in academic IELTS reading. All the best guys. Welcome back. All right guys, so how are you feeling about uh, multiple choice questions? Huh? Tick, cross, question mark and all that. Good techniques, huh? Very nice. So guys, just one request, share these videos in your community, on your YouTube channel. You can share this link uh, on Facebook or elsewhere, wherever you are, so that this good thing should go on to others as well. I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online arts classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaqub truly wishes you all the best. Take care. Allah Hafiz.